the movie starts with three men hunting in the woods. One of them, Dale, separates from his friends to chase an animal. Soon, Dale finds the animal and gets ready to shoot. Suddenly, a big, bald man appears and pushes Dale off a cliff, killing him. This man is Ryan Barrett, a former cop who wants revenge because his family was killed a few years ago. Dale was one of the killers. After killing Dale, Ryan drives to a small town called Hope. This town is by a violent biker gang. Even the sheriff is scared of them. Ryan knows this, but doesn't care and goes to the town anyway. In Hope, Ryan stops at a gas station to buy some things and ask where he can stay. The owner, Kirby, tells him about the only motel in town. The motel is run by a young woman named Darcy and has no visitors because people avoid coming to Hope. Darcy is surprised that Ryan dares to come to the town, but he says he has business there. Meanwhile, an FBI special agent named Frank is planning with his team to catch Dale, who is also a rapist. While they are talking, another agent comes in and tells them that Dale has been found dead. The scene then shows a flashback to when Ryan was a cop. He was at a party with his family and friends when a group of criminals arrived and started shooting at everyone, including Ryan and his family. The leader of the attackers, Drake Santiago, did this because he hated the cops who put him in jail before. He wanted revenge by killing those cops and their families. Ryan was one of his targets, but somehow, Ryan survived even though he was shot. In the present, Ryan is driving around the town when he sees some bikes parked in front of a building. A member of the biker gang comes out and gets very angry because a dog is barking at him. He pulls out his gun to shoot the dog just before he can fire. Ryan stops him and teaches him a lesson by beating him up. The noise made by Ryan gets the attention of the gang members inside. They come out to see what is happening. The gang leader is there and he is Drake. Drake doesn't remember Ryan's face, which makes sense because he has killed many people. Even though Ryan has beaten up one of his men, Drake decides to let him go because he has important things to do. However, Drake is still suspicious of Ryan, so he tells his younger brother Rexo to watch the bald man. The next day, Rexo met Drake to tell him that a club owner refused to pay the security fee. Angry. Drake challenged the club owner to a one-round boxing match. He promised that if the man won, he would never ask for the security fee again. Even though Drake was old, he was still very... He beat the big man easily. Drake decided to let the man go. He still needed his money, and the man couldn't pay him if he was dead. Drake and his gang made money in other ways, too. They sold meth and had their own lab. Rexo was in charge of the lab. Rexo had many jobs in the gang. Besides watching the meth lab, he had to keep an eye on Ryan. That night, Rexo went to Darcy's motel to ask if a big bald man named Ryan was there. Darcy refused to answer, so Rexo threatened her. He said he would send to hell if she didn't tell him where Ryan was. Ryan was at the motel and heard Rexo threatening Darcy. He stopped Rexo the only way he knew how with violence. Seeing Rexo being beaten, Darcy warned Ryan that Rexo was the younger brother of Drake, the gang leader. Drake would seek revenge if he found out his brother was hurt. Ryan didn't care. He took Rexo to the front of the gang's lab and tied him to a car. Then he let the car drive into the lab, causing it to explode. Rexo died in the explosion. The lab was destroyed and Ryan was happy. Drake and the gang soon noticed the explosion. They rushed to the lab but could only watch the flames. Drake was furious when he found out his brother was dead. Not long after, the sheriff and one of his deputies came to see what had happened. Drake and his gang were still there. When Drake saw the sheriff, he walked up to him and threatened him. He said if the sheriff tried to interfere, he would kill the sheriff's family. The sheriff was too scared to argue with Drake. He thought that by the gang do what they wanted, he could stop more violence in the town. The next day, Ryan targeted a gang's truck that was delivering meth to another city. He followed the truck quietly, then deflated its tire making the driver get out. 
When the driver got out, Ryan attacked him and smashed his head against the car door. Then, he blew up the truck. A gang member saw the explosion and reported it to Drake. Drake was very angry because the truck had a lot of meth and he lost a lot of money. He wanted to find the who did this. He suspected it was Ryan. To find out, Drake ordered his men to bring Kirby to their base. He asked Kirby to help him investigate Ryan and find out who he was. If Ryan was guilty, Drake would kill him. Kirby was scared and had no choice but to obey. That same day, Kirby started investigating Ryan. He checked Ryan's car park near the motel, hoping to find information about him. While he was looking in the car, Ryan came out of the motel and caught him. Kirby, nervous, invited Ryan to drink at his house, which was not far from the motel. But Ryan was not foolish. When they got to Kirby's house, Ryan asked why he had searched his car. Kirby admitted that Drake had ordered him to find out about Ryan. Just as Kirby finished talking, they heard a motorcycle stopping outside. It was one of Drake's men, Crab, who came to challenge Ryan. Their fight was short. Ryan defeated Crab but let him go. Meanwhile, Drake was investigating by talking to the sheriff. From their conversation, Drake learned that Ryan was an ex-cop who quit after his family was murdered. Drake thanked the sheriff for the information and gave him some money. Later that night, Drake and his men went to Kirby's house while he was asleep. Drake was disappointed that Kirby couldn't find information about Ryan. As punishment, Drake ordered Crab to kill Kirby. Ryan found out about Kirby's death the next morning. He knew it was Drake's gang who killed Kirby. So, without wasting time, Ryan went to one of Drake's club and beat up all the gang members there. After that, he kidnapped Crab and put him in his car's trunk. Then he killed Crab and dumped the body in front of the gang's headquarters. Drake was furious to see his favorite man dead. He ordered all his remaining men to gather and prepare their weapons to hunt down Ryan. Later that night at the motel, Darcy heard suspicious noises outside. She got up from the couch and grabbed her shotgun, ready to shoot whoever broke in. But Ryan, guessing it was his enemies, asked Darcy to take cover behind the reception desk. Moments later, the front door opens and Drake's men entered. Ryan waited until they were all close. When they were within reach, he told Darcy to turn off the lights. Total darkness filled the room and gunshots rang out. When Darcy turned the lights back on, she saw all the gang members were dead. Amazingly, Ryan was unharmed. Ryan knew the place was unsafe, so he took Darcy away. Unfortunately, he didn't realize his enemies were waiting outside. They ambushed Ryan, beating him until he passed out. When Ryan woke, he saw Drake. He and Darcy were taken to the gang's headquarters. Ryan's arms were tied to a chair so he couldn't move. Drake said he would kill both Ryan and Darcy, but first he would harm Darcy. Drake ordered one of his men to torture Ryan while he went to the back room. The tough guy started beating Ryan, enjoying it. But suddenly Ryan untied the ropes on his arms and fought back, knocking out the tough guy. Ryan then looked for Darcy on the ship, which was the gang's base. He found Drake's men who tried to fight him, but Ryan was too strong. After searching, Ryan found Darcy. She was tied up with her mouth covered in duct tape. He untied her and they looked for a way off the ship, but Drake wouldn't let them escape. Ryan knew it was time for the final fight. He told Darcy to leave while he faced Drake. Before the fight, Drake said he remembered Ryan as the cop whose family he had killed. He thought Ryan was dead. After this, the duel between them began. The two fought fiercely, but Ryan was stronger and knocked Drake down. Just when Ryan thought he had one, Drake got back up and grabbed a knife trying to attack Ryan from behind. Luckily, Agent Frank from the FBI arrived just in time and shot Drake dead before he could hurt Ryan. The FBI had come to hope to stop Drake's gang who had been terrorizing the townspeople. Frank decided not to arrest Ryan because he believed the police still needed someone like him. Ryan then left the town, promising Frank they would meet again someday at the end of the movie. Ryan is seen raiding a place and shooting at a group of people. These people are Drake's remaining friends who were involved in the murder of Ryan's family. Now, 
Ryan has come to kill them. Oh, the moral of the story is if you're planning to take on a whole gang by yourself, make sure you're a former cop with a serious vendetta and a knack for turning explosions into your personal signature move.